What's up guys, today we're going to be making an item giver in Roblox Studio. An item giver is basically where you have a tool inside of a little item such as a barrel, maybe even just a display case, where basically if the player touches the button, they'll be given the tool that's inside of it. So let's go ahead and make one of those. So in order to start making our item giver, the first thing we're going to want to do is make a little display case for it. Now for the display case, really all we need is a piece of glass and a button. So if you add in a part right here, I recommend making yours more high quality, I should say, than what I'm about to make. I'm basically just going to make a rectangle right here, scale this up for a little stand, then duplicate it with Control and D, move it up, scale this up a bit, and boom, this is our display case. It's going to make this top box a little bit more transparent so you can see through it. I'm also going to change the material down to a nice glass. Just like that. So this is my little display case. It's going to shrink it down a little bit. Move it down again. Alright, so now we got our little display case right here. Let's go ahead and add in a little button once again. So this new part will be right here. I'm going to scale it right on the side. Make it nice and big. Something like this. And let's make this a bright green button so that people will want to click on it. Well, not click on it, but press it. Now, let's go ahead and change the material onto this to smooth plastic. That's what I like personally. I'm also going to change the back one to smooth plastic as well. So this is our little item giver. Now I need to name our... Now I'm going to name this to glass. And this part right here to stand. Now we've gotten our three parts right here. You can go ahead and select all of them by shift clicking to each and every one of them or just by grabbing every single one with control. Now you can press control and G to group these models together into one. So now we have one solid case that we can move around and all that. I'm going to name this to item giver. So now if we click on the little plus icon to the right of this, let's go ahead and add in a script right here just right into here i'm going to name this script give well we're just going to be giving the item to the player through the script anyways now we actually need an item to give the player so what we're going to do is i'm going to go into the toolbox if you have your own tool or if you already made a sword of your own which you can watch my tutorial right up here in the cards this tutorial will basically just show you how to make a simple sword in roblox studio if you don't already know how to make one Anyways, I'm going to search for a sword in the toolbox right here. I'm just going to use Roblox's classic sword as it works really nicely for this. Anyways, X out of the toolbox just like that. And let's position the sword model directly inside of here. What I find best to do with this classic sword is to get rid of all the scripts and just keep the handle. So if we drag the handle into the give item giver, I should say and delete the classic sword model or tool. You can actually kind of rotate and bend this around a lot better. So now all I'm going to do is place the handle inside of the display case, inside of the glass that no player can grab it. So boom, this is our little display case. It's got our weapon inside of it. You can go ahead and scale this up and shrink it down to whatever you need to. And you can also just name this to sword. Something like that. So now let's go back into the toolbox and grab our sword once again. Probably should have just duplicated the other one first, but I'm just going to insert this one right here. Not going to put it into the toolbox. So this is a, the actual sword that we're going to be using. I recommend if you are using your own custom sword, you put the handle of your sword inside of here, but then you keep the other sword as we're going to be using that. So now you can close the item giver right here and drag this classic sword right into replicated storage. That will keep it nice and safe and cozy for there for now. Now inside of the item giver, let's open that back up and inside of the script, let's get scripting. So up here at the top, let's go ahead and, and start initializing our variables. Just like this. So let's go ahead and always make sure we got a debounce right up here. We're going to set this to false. We're going to be using this debounce so that the player can't spam grab the item multiple times. And let's go ahead and grab replicated storage as we're going to be using this one quite a bit actually I think. So replicated storage will be equal to game get service replicated storage. 
And now let's go ahead and get our tool, which will be our sword in replicated storage. So a local tool will be equal to replicated storage. Not required. Replicated sword. That is something I messed up. It is not replicated sword. It is replicated storage. I'm sorry about that, but we have gotten that cleared up. Replicated storage dot classic sword. So now we've got the variables fixed up right here. Let's go ahead and make a function that'll actually give the player the tool. So I'm just going to create a little comment right here so I can keep track of what's happening here. So to start with this function, I'm just gonna say local function. I'm just gonna name this something simple like give tool, something like that with parentheses. And let's go ahead and add player to the parameters of this function right here. Now we need to get the player's backpack. So I'm going to say local backpack will be equal to player find first child and quote unquote backpack. It's very important right here that you always use capital F's for the first find and first and then C for child. And also make sure you're using a capital B for backpack. So now this might be a little bit of a tricky line right here, but it's important. So I'm going to say if backpack and not backpack find first child. And this will be tool.name. So we're checking if the player has a backpack and if the tool isn't in their backpack. And the player doesn't have the sword on them. So we're going to say find first child tool.name things like this, then what we're going to go ahead and do is we can actually run our function to give the player, which is tool colon clone, or has changed its parents to the backpack. Put the tools clone inside of the player's backpack. Basically, we're going to say script.parent.button.touched, and we're going to connect a function to this. This function is going to take the parameter of hit. Now we're going to say local player game dot players get player from character and then we're gonna say hit dot parent if it is our player then what we're gonna go ahead and do if it is our player then we're gonna check with another if statement if not debounce then debounce will be equal to true we're gonna set script dot parent dot button dot brick color equal to brick color dot red and then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to run our give tool function right here with player in the parameters. And then we're going to set wait one. And then we're going to set our debounce equals to false again. And our script.parent.button.brickcolor will be equal to brickcolor.green. Something like this. So basically what this script is doing, these are our variables getting our debounce, replicate storage, and sword. This is our function that will actually give the tool to the player. Here we're checking if the player does not have the tool already. And if it doesn't, then we're going to go ahead and give it to the player. Otherwise, nothing will happen. And this is our function that will actually run this function right up here whenever our button gets touched by a player. And what this is doing is it's basically having a debounce of one second before the player can go ahead and touch it again. And let's go ahead and click on the X button right here and let's test this to make sure it works. One very important thing to note that you really want to have your item giver anchored. Otherwise it will fall apart and that will not be very fun. Let's go ahead and click on play to test this. As you can see when I join in, whenever I press this big green button, I have a sword right here which I can go and attack other players with. And I can always go ahead and pick this up again. Nothing will happen because we already have the sword, but say I were to drop the sword, now I can grab it again because I don't have that sword. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below your ideas and thoughts. Goodbye.